So let's see how we can work with the text formatting options inside of Adobe in copy. So for that, I'm just going to type in a title right over here. So let's say, for example, this is going to be a heading and then I'm going to press enter twice and type in my paragraph. Like I'm going to say this is my paragraph right over here, just like that. So once I go over here, I can just select this out and copy paste this out right over here. So I have a sort of a structure going on. So let's say, for example, I have a subheading right over here, just like that. And then I got another paragraph. So let's say I want to format this out. So now uh, I, I can select out the text which I want to format right over here. And as I'm on the text tool, you can see that on the top, there's like different the formatting options. The first one is the font. So you can choose the font that you like. And let's say, for example, I'm just going to choose Sego UI Emoji right over here. And you can see that uh, the font has been changed simply just like that. I'm just going to select that out and change it out to something like Mirrored Pro. So I can just type it in as well. So I can just say Mirrored right over here, just like that. And there are Mirrored Pro as you can see right over here. So I'm just going to type in Mirrored Pro and I can choose the different type of uh, the um, type of uh, the font as well. So I'm just going to go for Mirrored Pro regular right over here as you can see. So now what I want to do is my other texts are regular. That's fine. I want to change my subheading and heading as bold font. So I'm just going to select my heading and go over here on to the uh, type of the font right here. So I'm just going to bold this out right over here. And for subheading, let's bold that out as well. So I'm just going to bold that out. So just like that. All right. So now what I can do is change the font size by going on to here. You can see that by default, the font size is 12 points. So I'm just going to change this out in something like, let's say for the heading 30 right over here. So really large heading. And for the subheading, let me just change it out into something like 20 right over here. And you can see that this is how you can maintain a hierarchy as well. And you can see that formatting can be easily done just like this. Now let's see the other option right over here. For example, this one, this is the space between the characters, as you can see right over here, as it's like that. And there's a vertical spacing. So if I were to go over here, there's like a vertical space between the characters, as you can see as well. So I can just change that out. I'm just going to press Control Z to get back to the default because I do not want any of those, uh, let's say, for example. So I'm just going to go around. Uh, back over here, but I do want to work around with the vertical spacing. Let's say I'm going to keep 15, not 15, but let's say 17 points right here. So there's a bit of a spacing uh, for my eyes. I'm just going to go around and select 17 right over here, just like that as well. So I can see that that is how you can format. So those are the formatting options for how the characters look like and how uh, they are arranged out. Now let, let's look at the alignment options right over here. So you can see that the heading is on the center. So I'm just going to select all of it. Uh, so right now everything is left aligned. If I were to center align it, everything goes on the center as you can see. And if I were to right align, then everything goes to the right. So now everything over here is kind of like straight. So you don't see much of a difference. So I'm just going to delete this out right over here. So it's a bit crooked as you can see over here. So you can see that they are not well aligned right over here. It's like that. So I'm just going to uh, like erase this out over here a bit. And you can see that it is not aligned quite well right over here now. So what uh, I can do is I can select all of these right over here. I can center align it as you can see. So it's center line. You can right align it right over here. So it's right align just like that. But over here, there's justify as well. So if you were to click on this one it's justified, as you can see, like if I were to do a complete left align, so everything is left aligned. But if I were to do a justify, what happens is it tries to squeeze in everything as a straight line right over here. So it looks much more clearer right over there. Similarly, you've got justify center and justify right and full justify. So what it tries to do is it tries to expand everything across right over here, as you can see. So that is how you can work around with this just like that.
Besides that, you got also got options. Let's say, for example, inside, this is like the character and this is for the paragraph. So you can go inside and you can see that there's different options for formatting again, right over here, just like this. And also over here, there are different options right over here that you can use. For example, there's hyphenation. So right now there's hyphenation. And if I were to go and click on this right over here, so I'm not going to keep any hyphenation right over there. And the hyphenation is removed right over here. So there are different options right over here as well, which are going to see in further lessons.